Hey guys! Today we're going to be making a cute crochet top together. I've got my yarn here. This is Molda Vera Reflection. It says here it's made for Spotlight, which is an Australian local store. So I'm not sure if you can get the exact same yarn um, if you're like in America or other countries. But you can definitely get something similar to this. This is 100% acrylic and it needs a 4mm crochet hook and the knitting tension is 26 stitches times 28 rows so that's what I'm going to be using since it calls for a 4mm crochet hook that's what I'm going to be using as well if you want to use a smaller hook to prevent creating big holes between stitches you can do that because this pattern is made to measure so let's get started so first, we're going to make a cross like this and then pull this yarn through the loop. Like this. And then insert your hook. We're going to make a chain that is the width of the bottom ribbing band. So I'm going to yarn over and pull it through the loop on the hook. That's chain one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to find the second chain from the hook, which is this one, and turn my chain to the back find its back loop right here I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook in that back loop and then yarn over pull it through one loop now I still have three loops on the hook I'm going to yarn over and pull through all of them this is called a half double crochet. I'm going to mark this stitch. This is the first stitch of the row. I'm just going to place my marker in the top two loops of this stitch. And then in the second stitch, back loop, work a half double crochet. So yarn over and insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over again, pull through all. And then one half double crochet in the next stitch, back loop again. Yarn over, insert hook. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through all. This is the last stitch. Again, we're going to go in the back loop. Yarn over, insert hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. Okay, so this is row one. We have four stitches. Because this is going to be the ribbing band, we're going to have the same stitches in each row. We're going to work back and forth like this we're going to have four stitches in each row so that was row one at the beginning of every row you're going to chain one and turn so that's the chain one that is the first stitch you can see we have four stitches here one two three four okay we're going to yarn over and insert in the first stitch but in the back loop only which is this one. So yarn over, insert your hook in the back loop, pull up a loop, work a half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, back loop, one half double. One half double in the back loop of the next stitch. And your last stitch should be this marked stitch. So now you can take out the stitch marker. 
yarn over and insert your hook in the back loop only pull up a loop and half double crochet okay then we're just going to repeat this row two chain one and turn work one half double in the back loop of each stitch it's very easy to miss this very last stitch um, you just remember to count your stitches you should have four stitches so I have one two three so I know I should work one more stitch in this stitch even if it doesn't really look like a stitch it looks like a chain but it is a stitch And this is also why after we work the first stitch, we need to mark it. So that's the first stitch, and then I mark this stitch. So when I come back, I know this is the last stitch I should work into. So I'm going to continue working like this until this ribbing stretches to half of my under bust. So just to give you a reference, half of my under bust is about 16 inches. So I kept working until this can stretch to 16 inches. And with this yarn, I worked 36 rows to reach that. So after that, we're going to work along this edge and back and forth like this. For every two rows, I'm going to work three half double crochets along the edge. So that's one row, that's the second one, three double crochets. I've already chained one here. So I'm just going to find yarn over and find a place to work the first half double crochet. There. So that's the first one. I'm going to mark this very first stitch. Same reason, because we want to find the first stitch when we come back. And then just between the first and the second row, here I'm going to work a second half double crochet. I'm going to try insert in two loops. So I'm not making any space bigger. And then the third stitch would be at the end of row two, somewhere here. So that's three stitches. So I'm just gonna keep working like this. Work three half double crochets on the edge of every two rows. And because I have 36 rows, I should have 54 stitches for this row. And then I'm going to double check my stitch number. From the very first stitch, which is marked, I should have 54 stitches. If you don't have an even number of rows of ribbing, you can just work two half double crochets in the very last row. So that's row one of the main panel. So the main panel is actually very similar to the ribbing. The only difference is for the ribbing, we insert in the back loop only, but for the main panel, we're going to insert in both loops. So at the beginning of the row, you would chain one still and turn your work. And in the very first stitch, this one, you would work a half double crochet, but we're going to insert in both loops like this and now work your half double crochet. I need a stitch marker here to mark the first stitch. Okay, and then from the next stitch, I'm just going to work one half double crochet in each stitch. And when you insert your hook, always insert in both loops. The stitch that is marked is the last stitch I should work into. 
So that means I'm working my last half double crochet. And if you want to double check your stitch number, it should be the same as row 1. So for me, I should have 54 stitches for every single row. And then you're just going to repeat this row, chain 1 and turn. From the first stitch, start working half double crochet, one in each stitch. And don't forget to mark your first stitch because that might be the only problem you would have with this pattern. If your panel goes like this, your stitch number starts to decrease. That means you're missing the very last stitch. So that's most likely where your problem is. So make sure you don't miss any stitches. Make sure you're always having the same stitch number for each row. I'll see you back here when I have enough rows for my panel. I worked 20 rows for the main panel. The height of this back panel, including the ribbing, is about 6 inches. For the back panel, we're just going to fasten off here. So finishing my last row, make sure you work in that very last stitch. And then you chain one. You want to pull a bit length, so we can use this tail to join the side seam later. And then you cut this yarn and pull it through. So that's the back panel done. Next is the front panel. We're going to repeat the whole process for the front panel. And after row 20, we're going to do the straps. But everything before that, up to here, is the same. For the next bit, I'm doing a voiceover because the sound didn't get picked up while recording. So this is the front panel. I did 20 rows of half double crochets. I'm making sure I work in the last stitch. And then I'm going to turn, we're going to make the straps. So this bit is going to be under the arm. We don't want to increase straight away. We want to leave a bit distance. But instead of cutting and reattach the yarn here, I'm just going to work slip stitches here. So in the very first stitch, I'm going to insert my hook. Pull up a loop. And then just pull it through the one on the hook. That's a slip stitch. In the next stitch, work one slip stitch as well. So insert hook, pull up a loop, and then pull it through the loop on the hook. And then work three more slip stitches like this. So after five slip stitches, I'm going to chain one and work a half double crochet three together over the next three stitches. That means three half double crochets worked as one stitch. So yarn over, pull up a loop from the next stitch, and then in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up one more loop. Now you should have five loops on the hook. Do that again in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now with seven loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all. So that was a half double crochet three together. And then I'm going to make one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet three together again. So yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop. Yarn over again, pull up one more loop in the next stitch. Yarn over again, one more loop in the next stitch. I should have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all. So that was the first row of the strap. Then we're going to turn our work and begin row 2. 
So chain one first. In the first two stitches, I'm gonna work a half double crochet two together. So yarn over, pull up a loop from the first stitch. Yarn over again, one more loop from the stitch after. Now I have five loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all. Then I'm gonna work one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then a half double crochet two together again, and it's gonna be over the next two stitches. So yarn over, pull up a loop from the next stitch. Yarn over again, one more loop from the stitch after. Five loops on hook, yarn over and pull through all. So that was row two of the strap. And then from the next row, we're just gonna work one half double crochet in each stitch. So chain one and turn. From the very first stitch, work one half double crochet in each stitch. We should have four half double crochets. And then just continue repeating this, chain one and turn, one half double crochet in each of the four stitches. So including those two decrease rows, I worked 42 rows in total. And this is how I decide how long I should work my strap. So this is the back panel. I put them like this and use the stitch markers to pin them together. And then I put it on. And then I put the strap over my shoulder to reach the back panel. And this is what I end up with, 42 rows. And just in case you're wondering, this strap can stretch to about 14 inches. And then after that, I'm going to chain one and leave a tail so we can sew this to the back panel later. Then I'm going to cut this yarn, pull it through. You can go ahead and work the other strap first and then join these together, but I'm gonna do the seaming first. So I've got a tail here, I'm gonna use this one. We don't have a right or wrong side yet, so you can do this from either side of the panel. I'm going to insert my hook in the very last stitch here. Which is this one. And I'm gonna pull this yarn through. chain one. So along this edge, I'm going to work slip stitches. Make sure you line your panels up row by row. So I'm just going to find a space on this edge, insert my hook in both panels, and then make a slip stitch. And then next space. Next space as well on the other side. And slip stitch. I'm gonna work roughly one stitch for every row. So that's two rows, I worked two stitches here. You can use stitch markers to help you line the edges up. So I'm just gonna continue working like this to join the seam. And then I'm left with the four stitches here of the ribbing. I'm just gonna go in both loops of both stitches and make a slip stitch all the way to the end. And 
the very last stitch and then I'm gonna chain one fasten off and this is what it looks like from the right side and then you're gonna go ahead and join this side we don't have a yarn um, on this side so I'm gonna show you how to attach it so you just insert your hook in the very last stitch here and the last one on this side as well it's gonna be a bit hard on this side because this is this is a slip stitch so you just insert your hook here and then pull the yarn through and then you tie a couple of knots insert your hook in the same stitch on both sides and then yarn over pull up a loop Insert your hook in the next space and then the next space on the other side as well. And then you just continue working slip stitches from here to join the seam. So after we finish the side seams, we're going to do the other strap. I'm going to do it from this is the wrong side like this. So from the side, I'm going to count to the 15th stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to insert my hook there. Get my yarn and make a slip knot. And pull it through that stitch and chain one I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook back in the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop from the next stitch yarn over again one more loop from the stitch after so now I have seven loops on my hook And then from here, it's just going to be the same as the other side. So I just finished the other strap. The color is a bit different, but I think it makes it cuter. So the last thing we need to do is attach the straps to the back panel. I already tried this on and I decided I want it to be somewhere here. I counted a stitch. I need to leave about 16 stitches. So 16 stitches from this side starting from the very first stitch i'm gonna put my stitch marker in the 16th stitch and same on this side so in the 16th and then the strap will be attached to the next four stitches after the marked stitch this is the right side we need to do this from the wrong side like this so to join this stitch i just insert my hook in the very first stitch we have four stitches here and then I'm going to insert in the stitch after the stitch marker pull the yarn through you can chain one here the next stitch both loops next stitch on the other side slip stitch and then in the third stitch, slip stitch, last one, slip stitch, and chain one. And then you're just going to use a needle to hide the tail on the wrong side.
and then cut this tail for the other strap I'm going to attach the four stitches to the stitch the four stitches after the stitch marker from the wrong side as well so the first stitch would be this one one two three four and then just slip stitch to join them just like the other side don't forget to fasten off the rest of the yarn tails And then when you finish all that, this top is done.